It's Tuesday, January 23rd, and from WBHM News, I'm Richard Banks with today's top stories. The conservative cable news outlet Newsmax reports U.S. Senator Katie Britt is currently the top contender for vice president on the Trump ticket if the former president were to win the Republican primary. According to one analyst, Britt could help the campaign with independents and many suburban Republicans who have distanced themselves from Trump. Britt, Alabama's junior senator, is in her first term, having won the seat formerly held by her old boss, six-term Senator Richard Shelby. Britt had worked as Shelby's chief of staff. Protests continue in Alabama in advance of Thursday's scheduled execution of death row inmate Kenneth Eugene Smith by nitrogen hypoxia. Faith leaders gathered yesterday on the Capitol steps in Montgomery to protest the execution, and a letter containing tens of thousands of signatures were also presented asking for a halt to the execution. The Alabama Attorney General's office says using nitrogen gas is the most painless and humane method created, but the method is untested on humans, and some doctors and critics say what exactly Smith will feel is unknown. In a public hearing on a proposed rock quarry near Chiha State Park will be held tonight. Residents have been speaking out about the facility, concerned about water contamination, noise pollution, and general environmental damage. The period for public comments was extended after many people who live nearby say they were not aware of the proposal until late in the process. The public hearing for the quarry will begin at 6 o'clock tonight at the Oxford Civic Center. You'll find more news anytime at WBHM.org.